Struggle all you want. There's nothing you can do now. Just accept your fate. You know, when I was a child, I always wanted to be an artist. I loved painting. The colours and the canvas merging together to create an image of beauty. Most people would call the Mona Lisa or the Starry Night their favourite, but if I had to pick one, just one, it had to be the scream. You know, the painting the scream with the guy, it's on his face and he's screaming. You know, it just, it made me wonder. It made me think when I first saw it. What exactly was he screaming at? What was he scared of? Did he see somebody shooting it? Or maybe he just enjoyed it. Enjoyed letting out all that pent up frustration and anger in one loud screech. So, I knew from then on, I would help people release their anger and frustrations whilst also creating beautiful art with their blood. So you should be thankful, my dear. Because I am about to save you and make you beautiful. Honey, I'm home. You better shut it. He's getting it too. You in the living room? What the? Kara! Back off, mate. Or you'll be watching her die. Okay, look, mate. J just, just put the knife down. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, her time has come. Look, just just tell me what you want. Money, I, I'll give you anything. Anything, you say? Yes, just, just let her go. I want you to scream as you watch her die. Then, I want you to spread the word of what you've saw here today. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> Aye, and why is that? Because I called dibs on her first. Dibs? Aye, I've been working this mark for months, and I was going to bump her off tonight, but here you are. Wait a minute. Let me collect my thoughts here. So you're telling me you're a serial killer as well? Yep. The granite guillotine at your service. Oh, and by the way, I was standing at the front door listening to your little monologue, and I had to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> Creating beautiful art. What kind of pretentious bullshit is that? I mean, really? Well, at least I have a backstory. What do you have? An imaginary guillotine? Hey, I have a guillotine. Oh, I? Where then? Okay, so I don't have one yet, but I, I'm building one. Yeah, yeah? Of course I am. Why do you think I took up woodwork as a hobby? <laughs> okay, you be quiet. We'll get back to you. So what I'm getting from all this is that you are just an amateur. Whereas I, the Scottish slasher, have racked up hundreds of kills at this point. <laughs> Scottish slasher? <laughs> Is that what you say when you pish on the English? So whereabouts in Scotland have you killed then? I've killed people in Aberdeen, Peter Heath, Fraserburgh, and Ellen. So you're not really a Scottish slasher then, are you? Those places are all in Scotland. Yeah, but they're right beside each other. What this tells me is that you have huge aspirations, but can't be bothered to spend more than 10 quid on petrol. You should technically be called the North East Slasher. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's a better one. <laughs> the Lazy Slasher. <laughs> lazy? Lazy? I'll have you know I want to murder 20 people in my first week. That's nothing. I murdered 40 people in my first week, in broad daylight, in the middle of a shopping centre. Ah, my char. I once murdered a whole family of four waiting in that car to finish its MOT. While I was in the car. <laughs> Child's play. I once stalked my victim into a hall of mirrors before killing them. I escaped by, perfectly, blending in with the mirror. Ha! Rubbish. I spent eight days pretending to be a bad bath before killing my victim with the bird. 
<laughs> what dross. I volunteered at a food bank for six months, sneaking razor blades into the food. I still won a UNICEF award before leaving. That supposed to impress me? I once pretended to be a stuffed deer's head in a hunting lodge, and I managed to kill 20 without leaving a wall. <laughs> I convincingly played a representative of the United Nations while killing 30 people during my meetings. Uh, how dull. I managed to kill a team of researchers in Antarctica by living amongst the penguins for three weeks. Counting three weeks. My sister could do that. I managed to kill everyone in a tower block whilst blindfolded during a fire test. Please still haven't found the bodies. My dog could have done that. I managed to slaughter everyone in a zoo while convincingly playing an ostrich and feeding them to the lions. Beat that. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, you know that this is getting us nowhere. There's only one way to settle this. Kara! All right, so we need your help. Go to hell! Being there, it's dull. Anyway, if you had to pick someone to be murdered by, I mean, between us two, me and him, I mean, I know you'd pick me, but just honestly, if you had to pick one of us, who would it be? I mean, it's clearly me, but you know, it's to shut him up. Look, don't listen to him. If you pick me... Then I promise we can finally take that trip to Paris that you always wanted. I could push you off the Eiffel Tower. At least then you'll get a beautiful view while you die. I mean, that's something. What do you say, baby? Baby? Nah, it doesn't sound right, does it? Um, sugar. Uh, pumpkin? I'll take your pumpkin and ram it up your ass. And stick a candle in as well, so you'll burn from the inside. Th then I'll take your burnt corpse and stick it up as a scarecrow in a field so you can get picked apart by crows. And, Does and, she normally and go on I'll, like this? I'll find every crow that ate a piece of you Usually. and I'll, I'll burn them as well. <laughs> Look, we both know it should be me that does it. I mean, I've spent months playing the long game with her. Wooing her, moving in and all that. You know, like a spider. Weaving its web. Yeah, and I'm a snake that comes in to eat the spider while he's busy sleeping. Face it, you lost your chance. Plus, I think I've proven that I'm far more experienced than you when it comes to these things. Oh yeah? I once did the motion capture for a Grand Theft Auto game and actively murdered the developers. My animations were still used in the final product. I uh, feel like I'm falling asleep. I have, on multiple occasions, successfully acted as my own hostage negotiator with the police. Not once did they suspect a thing. So the best you've got. <laughs> I once played an entire school of piranha in an aquarium and killed dozens of employees. Each Fuck this. one of them were filed as workplace accidents. Bollocks! I once killed seven people on live TV in the middle of a news report, and they still couldn't identify the killer. Really? I once filmed my own crime as a documentary, and won a BAFTA for it. Ah, then let me guess, you used it to bludgeon a host to death live on TV? Are you kidding? I've got it on my mantelpiece. I ain't gonna use that to murder someone. I'm not a monster. Clearly. You hear that? Oh, yeah. I knew this would happen. I saw her slip away about ten minutes ago. And you didn't think to stop her? Hey, you tied her to that chair, so she's your responsibility. Anyway, this'll be no problem for me. I once outran three police cars on a 20-mile straight road. That's nothing. Yeah. You know what? You're right. That is nothing. Because I once had a SWAT team break into my safe house while I was having breakfast, and I still had time to finish my bowl and swim across the lake to freedom before they even got to the living room. Oh yeah? 
They once had the armed military from seven different countries go every inch of this UK, this United Kingdom, to find me. They couldn't have found evidence even existed. <laughs> oh, please, who hasn't done that? I once skydived out of my helicopter onto another helicopter while it was flying towards me. And when it crashed, the wreckage was never and still isn't ever going to be found. You have been listening to That's Nothing, written by Lewis Dowell, Andrew Walker, and Grant Jameson. The Scottish slasher was played by Craig Miller. Granite Guillotine, Andrew Reed. Cara, Ruta Katie. Sound design, Grant Jameson. Sound effects from freesound.org. Music, Kevin MacLeod. The director was Grant Jameson. Producer, Andrew Walker.